when we are here. But we do have a special. There's a special on a cutting. You will see Glenn David in the back. A sub truck, absolutely gorgeous. And all the illusion maker products, such as the automatic laser blade, aluminum, multi spots, and what have you, will be less 20% at our booth. All right? So that's from uh, Trinidad's. Uh, right now, I'm going to bring on a young man who was the originator of the 244, Rick 244, the Garcia ring. He was the man who 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 Okay, take two. This is the uh, Frank, Frank Paris, Brian Verga, Bob, uh, Bob Fitz. Cut, cut, cut. Bob Fitz. Quiet on the set, quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Okay, this is the Frank Paris Magic Session, number, volume number six, take one. Okay, my, introduce my friend, Robert Bax. Hello, Robert. Good evening, everyone. We are here today at the palatial home of Mr. Frank Paris to see some of his many friends in their fine performances. Our first performer is today is the internationally well-known and famous Mr. Bob Fitch. Everyone, may we have a round of applause for him, please? Yay! Yay! Mr. Fitch. Uh, my name is uh, 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 Bob. Bob Fitch. And uh, first of all, we're going to have a little commercial. We have here a uh, video, uh, uh, a video, uh, a video memories, right? Uh, and takes weddings, bar mitzvahs, bris. Uh, okay. Uh, take two, take two on Bob Fitch. Take two. Okay. Oh, and I can't come back. <laughs> Too late. All right, where's Bob? He's here. What is he doing? Are you ready, Bob? Oh, sure, I'm ready. You got me? On? You ready? You. You're kidding me. The sun, the, the light is bothering you yeah, that much? Yeah, it's very bright in here. Now, listen, I want to tell you, I was, I was in the other room. There's magicians in there. Hey! I want you to know, I oh, was nothing. scared by a magician when I was a kid. Uh-huh. And I, I, these guys, they make you think wonderful things. They make you believe in miracles. But there's no such thing. I mean... Can you take something and just make it disappear like that? There's no such thing, you know? I mean, I dare these magicians to just say, reach out in the air, right? Catch something, right? And if you believe it's there, it'll be there. Now you think I'm crazy, but this is what the magicians made me think. They made me believe I could just reach up in the air, and it would be there. And it never was, because there's, there's no such trick. Right. They, I said, well, do this. Put a coin in your hand and just make it disappear. But there's no such trick. No such trick at all. I said, with one hand, I want you to just take the coin up in the air, throw it away, and make it go away. That's it, right? There's no such trick. If you see what I mean. <laughs> Right, they would say, well, he had that in his eye to begin with, because they wouldn't believe. They're looking for methods. I'm looking for effects. I'm looking for magic. I said, put a coin through your hand like that. They didn't believe it. But if you believed it, right, it would go right through. Look, it goes a little faster. It goes right through. Now, if it can go down through, watch. Why can't it come back up from? They said there was no such trick. I said, well, look, let's just do this a little bit, and the thing will just sort of disappear. They said, there's no such trick. If you, uh, <laughs> see what I mean. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> Magicians are a very disbelieving lot. John, even if I were to tell you the, the secret to this, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, in fact, in fact, this is what I'll do. I'll put the damn thing in my eye. Look, there's no tricks here. No tricks whatsoever. You know it's behind the glass, and I'm going to explain how I did it. When I misdirect you like that and throw it up in the air, I secretly... You can't do it slowly. You've got to do it fast, right? Like down my mouth. i got to do it clean. I've done this in a while. When I reach up in the air like that, throw it up in, throw it up in the air, and you're looking up. I just drop the coin out of my hand like that. Now the real trick, of course, is just to make it disappear. Just like that. Yeah. If you uh, see what I mean. Whoa! Whoa. It wasn't 
It wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> it was supposed to stay up there, but it's kind of wet here. Okay, now watch this. You're not going to believe... Ooh, that hurts. You're not going to believe this at all. That's two. Is that two? It's one. With one hand. There's no such trick as taking a coin like that, throwing it up in the air, and watch. Wait, Making it disappear. I don't see it anywhere. Oh, no. You see what I mean? Yeah, now, actually, what I've been doing here is a bunch of tricks. But actually, what I set up to do was not just to do a bunch of tricks. It was to see if I could do a whole routine of stuff while I balance a jumbo coin on my head. Oh! No, there's no applause for this. You just have to do this thing if you see what I mean. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. They're just slapping their faces to keep away. Do I know class or do I know class, yeah. Wow. Okay. Now, let's see. Oh, I'll throw everything on the floor. Jenny. All night. I'm sorry, Jenny. Okay. Would you please, sir, how do you do? How do you do? I do it. I um, know, don't like tell me, I saw the drawing. Just, would you yeah. just, just, yeah. would you just tell me to stop there sometimes? Like, I'll, I'll do this and you tell me to stop. stop. Right there? Oh, God, okay. this trick. Would you tell me to stop here, dear, any place you feel like it? Stop. Right there? Okay. Okay, would you again tell me to stop? Stop. Okay, now this is not a great trick because I'm not really a card person. Stop. Oh, well, then stop? Does that mean leave? <laughs> oh, that's so painful. Okay, we have four little piles. I take one card from here. Now you told me where to stop, is that right? And you told me where to stop, both times. Now I didn't, I didn't influence your decision. Just have three piles of water. You know, I forgot the damn trick. <laughs> I forgot the trick. Want some musical background? Huh? Music? Yeah. Anyway, you told me to stop in each one of these cases. Now, I don't know. That's pretty good. We stopped at an ace. The thing is, could we match that the second time? The trick is, if we did it the second time, <coughs> could we, in fact, do it the third time? If we did it the third time, can we do it the fourth time? We did. And you're all pretty terrific, and I'm very nervous. However, that isn't such a great trick. What I really wanted to do was a coin trick. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Would you please? Notice that there are only four cards and four coins. Would you just pick up any one of those coins? You notice anything funny about that? There's no trap doors, there's no slots, there's no mirrors or anything like that. But when you take a look at it, you see it becomes oh, no. two. Actually, I didn't want to do that trick with four. I want to do it with two. It happens on the count of ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or it happens this way. One, two. Or one, two. Or one, two. Or one, two. Okay, well, let's get this one out of the picture. We get one, 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 four. All right. We have four aces and four coins. Would you just name one of the aces? Ace of diamonds. Ace of diamonds. Good. <laughs> Little setup. <laughs> okay, you name the ace of diamonds. So the ace of diamonds is going to be our leader. The ace of diamonds. That doesn't mean anything, but you have to watch out. I want you to see if that's not a trick coin of any sort. Because what I'm going to do take the coin from under here. You see? What happens is it actually did go over there. Okay, let's take a look at these two. This 
time. I'm not going to even touch the point. I'm simply going to sweep three times. Two. Three. Three points are back. Now watch this. No, no tricks here. No fakes. This time, this time we've got the fourth coin, which is over here. This time I won't take it away. I won't sweep it. I'll simply go like that. Mm -hmm. Watch what happens. And this time the coin will have certainly appeared. suddenly taking advantage of me. And suddenly, uh, maybe there really is magic, you know? Same thing here. I, I kept, oh, what? Uh, holy shit. I know, I know. So what I did was I stopped playing. I stopped playing. I said, I got to stop doing this trick because it's getting the best of me. So watch what happened. I decided one day to throw it up in the air like that, right? And I said, where? Oh, <laughs> It got over there by itself. So, uh, actually, uh, what I really have to do here is just throw it away altogether. It joins those great coins in the sky. And you know, you know, in Swahili, the magicians in the audience that see things like that, they don't applaud. Uh -huh. They take their wands and bang them on the floor. Uh -huh. That's why a lot of the men in Swahili are virgins and eunuchs. <laughs> Because their wands are completely chafed. Every you cannot perform magic with a chafed wand. Not to mention okay. splintered. Mm -hmm. 
And that's where we get chafed in Sanborn coffee, okay? It comes, they grind the wands up, okay? And they bring them to this country. It's okay. And they add a, a coffee derivative, okay? Mm. Called uh, the papaya plant, okay? <laughs> okay, it comes from papaya. Yeah. You know, and uh, that's where the, you know, uh, uh, David... Uh, McGarrett uh, from Hawaii. <laughs> Fifi comes from you know, Hawaii. Get out of it, Frank. Get out of it. <laughs> Everybody has a, obviously a different point of view. Sure. I mean, like, like to some people, uh, this is a hand. Oh, okay. Huh? I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Not finished. Am oh. I finished? No, no, you're not finished. Oh. Oh. She's, She's not Irish and Polish. Not finished. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everybody has a different point of view, like this is a hand, right? these are hands, or these are fists. Somebody else would say this is a fist, or somebody else would say, look, look, it looks like a black hole. Huh. That's what it is, actually, it's a black hole. <laughs> and you say it's not a black hole. mine's in the gut. It's not a black mine's in the gut. Blank. If I want blank. If I want, I'm still back in the line. <laughs> <laughs> I just came from the back. He's going in the men's room with grand sexual <laughs> We had four hands to get it back together. Uh, no, some people would say this is not a black hole because, but it is. The whole thing is black. <laughs> uh, these are clean jokes. They're not going to go anywhere. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. Oh, no, Mr. Bill. Oh, no. <laughs> Your black hole will get away from me and swallow me. <laughs> okay. Well, a black hole is, I, I took a philosophy course one time, and they, they define space as, as, as a place where things are. Well, but in not. fact, in order to define this as a black hole, I have to make a thing and put this inside it. So it's just the reverse, even though it's a black hole. But what black holes do, they go down and swallow themselves. They become nothing. They become invisible. So if I grab pieces of space and smash it together, it doesn't mean anything. But actually, the black hole, which was invisible, was there all the time. Now look, I'll do it very slowly, because I know you think this is sleight of hand, when actually what I'm trying to explain to you is a miniature black hole. All right? Now what? The black hole simply swallows itself. Once it inverts, it simply swallows itself, and there is no more to be left, no more to be done. You get this? Right. And just think of that on a large scale atmosphere where, where you can swallow yeah, whole universes. The hell, well, I might as well go to jokes. Let's go back to the one. No, no, hey, Bob, I'm going to tell you something sincerely. Before, keep the tape rolling, okay? <clears throat> yeah. I know, I've met a lot of magicians in my time, and I know a lot of magicians. And I've seen a lot of magicians work. But I don't care how good they are. I know what they're doing. You, I don't know what the hell you're doing. I left the a little thing over here. It's it's if we don't mind, I want to show you. know what I'm saying? I mean, I know, I know some of the things that he's doing. Right? There was a play, uh, uh, Glass Menagerie, and the girl had all these little fantasy figures, unicorns of glass. My wife has a, a shelf of uh, uh, seashells. A little sand castle. I mean, it's like her glass figurines and It's like her place. Frank's wedding glass. stuff. All that glass drives me crazy. Drives me crazy. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. So everybody's kind of got their memorabilia. Now, I think their memorabilia is really what magic is all about. Fantasy items are really magic. Most magicians deal with their props like slaves. But I think they're fantasy objects. Now, I got this. Actually, I got this in San Francisco when I used to live there. And my dancing teacher, we lived just above Chinatown, and he just gave it to me. And that against the Did you? <laughs> oh, I wish I had a rejoinder. Quick, John, help me out. Uh, whenever I get a little nuts, like I'll walk down 8th Avenue, just to make me feel better, because I know that I'm better off than most people walking 8th Avenue. Right? It's the same with this. Uh, I mean, this is only one of a lot of things I have on shelves. But, for instance, if I get... If I have a sort of a burnout, right, and you sort of, uh, well, just feeling the ridges of this thing are sort of, I don't know how to say it, sort of fantasy kind of thing. So whenever I have a brownout, right, it makes me realize that, that there are silver linings behind every cloud. And all I'm doing, all I'm doing is, you know, looking at my Chinese coin. The Chinese coin reminds me, of course, of San Francisco. The uh, brown coin, the copper coin, it reminds me of the time I did an act and went to London. And, uh, of course, I always keep 50-cent piece so I can 
you know, what? buy a cup of coffee. Now, a lot of people say, hey, you're just doing tricks. You're using a three-sided coin, right? Well, okay, let's examine that idea. There's one side, right? There's the other side. There's the third side, right? Jesus. Now, could it possibly be I know the first two. I don't know that it's... They're not trick coins. They're not something you look for. More that there's something that happens to you. For instance, if I, if I think of Chinatown, I see the Chinese coin. If I think of England, I see the copper coin, right? If I think of a cup of coffee, I see the 50 cent piece. And all the time, it was simply a Chinese coin. Now look, if you want to think that there's three coins instead of three sides, okay, well, there's one coin, the 50 cent piece, right? If you think there's three coins, okay, there's the second coin, the copper coin. And if you think there's three coins, then there's the Chinese coin. But actually, this entire thing was just, you know, the one coin. Or perhaps it was just a fantasy in your imagination. You know? mm -hmm. The last thing I saw, but I don't know how the hell I saw it. What? Wow. The last thing. That was well, some holy coin there. Yeah, it needs a lot of practice, but I mean, the I concept. You know. wow. See, all this stuff is his. You won't find this in magic books. Very you won't find uh, it. I want to produce a magic tape. There are some magic tapes that have come out, but I want to produce a magic tape with him doing you this. You think that's okay, then, I do? That's fantastic. That's oh, you bought this? Huh? Or is this your own idea? Really? This is my own idea. Oh, okay. Isn't that rude? Really because they're selling a trick. Magic, they exploit everything in magic. They've now got new magic tricks. And mix it up, whatever oh, you want to do. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. oh, I haven't been doing this that long. <laughs> Don't mix it up too much. Really. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a vision. Yeah, that's a vision. Oh, okay, let, let your wife. Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, I'll have to bring this back to my kids. What am I going to do with it? Oh, just mix it up. How did you get it on all the same color, same sign up first? <laughs> magic. 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 And there's a 12 year old kid in London. Who it it is, okay. is it? Does anybody have a watch? Oh, that's a good idea. You want a watch, watch on you? No, I don't, I don't want it. I have a watch. What time is it? Okay. <coughs> it's uh, 5 to 10. She has a watch. That's though. enough. You have a watch. 5 to 10. What do you want to uh, want me to find? Okay, wait a minute. How long? Can I see you do it? Count of three, I'd like you to time this. This is next uh, seconds. I got seconds. It does. One. Two. Three. Okay, go. I love it. I love it. All right. I love it. I love it, Bob. A great idea. Wow. Oh, Isn't that a great okay. idea? Okay. There it is. Right. Diabolical. Seven seconds. Isn't that diabolical? Seven. Would you pull it out and take a look, please? Oh. I love it. Isn't that beautiful? Would you open Pull it out. Let's see if there is. Absolutely great. Oh, oh my stars oh, and bars. No. That's great. Wow. That's great. I love it. I love the whole idea. Did it flash? No. No, no, no. no. Did not flash. Yeah. I, from, from this angle, Bob. Get it. Great. Did you catch anything from no. your angle? No. Did you? Absolutely not. I did. No. Okay. Well, I did. Still need yeah, to but Bob, Bob. No, it's great. Bob, listen. You need a little more ability. No, 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 no. I didn't catch it because. Sorry. I didn't catch it because you did. <laughs> but look, please. Oh. Have you seen this, Jack? I don't know what it's it is. Red oh, yeah. Uh, uh, this is it. This is it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I can watch this forever. Okay. People in Magic have been wanting to publish this for years. My kids, my oldest kid, plays a rock band, and he's lost some of his hearing. Right? Because of the loud music. Uh, kids uh, use the calculators, right? The damn things are even talking to them, like French now. So they don't have to do 5 times 5 or 12 times 3, right? They use the calculators. So in a sense, because of non-use or too much abuse, they're losing some of their senses. Now, I, people say you're losing your senses. Uh, all your senses, because we're a visual society. We don't hear people. We don't really listen to them because we only look. We're visual. I don't know if that's true. But I decided to make a little experiment to isolate the sense of sight. Now, I have something in the bag, but you cannot see it. However, you can hear it. Right? Whip it. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Whip it. Is that all right to do that on there? Drop that? It's all right. 
It makes your card rise, rise right out of the deck. Right? What's your card? No. <laughs> Let me think. If I can think. Oh, if I could throw this card into the air like that and change it to your card, would that be it? It's another 46 tries, and that's all. All right. He's goofy. Uh, if I could just reach out into the air and produce it out of the air, right? If I could just do this kind of thing. Oh, it's stuck on. <laughs> Is that it? No, but that was good anyway. All right. I'm not going <laughs> to... Okay. Oh, God. I have some more outs. Wait a minute. <laughs> if I could invisibly take this card and just take an invisible card like that, and it would appear the moment I put it down on the table. Watch. See it? Yeah. I really think I'm a magician. If I could, I tell you what, if I could make the deck disappear and just leave your card, what was the name of your card? You want me to tell me? You, know, you better tell me because I'm having trouble. Okay, I'm just Seven space. Oh, no! Where's the rest of the deck? And the deck's gone. Give him back the deck. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. You're stunned into silence. Forgive me. Mirrors on either one of these, right? Correct? Now, could I have your, uh, your left hand? Wait, I'm sorry, your right hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. I put the two coins together. And look, I don't take them out. You hold them very tightly together. Right? Turn it over. Now, you remember that trick where I sort of, well, where I pushed the coin through my hand and later on it, you know, it suddenly went down, it just went through? I'm going to try to do the same thing with your quarter. Watch it. I'm going to sort of fall right down the 28 grains. Uh, would you turn your hand up slowly open to see if the quarter is between the other two?
the hat for this whole thing. And so people scream because they said you made the four coins look like you made the one coin look like there were four. Magicians get very angry because they know I had four coins and I made them look like one. <laughs> Very slowly. This is called chasing the coin. something else. Now watch. One, two, three. There's a car that pops out and it should be another race. That's very interesting. Let's make it a wholesome three or whatever. Let's see. Okay, a little different now. I want to ask Jenny one question. What is the magic word? That's good. Ace, cute. I was going to say uh, Queens, but when you say that, there's a cameraman. Okay, good. One, two, three, a card spins out, and that's another race. Terrific. You know how I'm going to get the other race out? Yeah, you bet. You better believe it. Just like this. And it's gone, isn't it? That's a better magician than I thought I was. Oh, my God. Let's see if we can get that ace out. 
see what we can do something with an ace. Very good. Basically, that's how we... See, really, what I'm trying to say is never trust your eyes. You know why? If I put four aces on top and do something like this, never trust your eyes. In fact, if I stand up, and could you give this uh, cards a good shuffle, you know, a good cut or whatever you want to do? Anything. I can't shuffle. Anything. Overhand, just shuffle them up. Well, I can't shuffle. I can't shuffle. Anything. Just mix up the cards. I really don't know All right. Okay, very good. Good enough. What we're going to do is show you, well, you've seen uh, shuffling or card juggling, juggling like cutting like this and then cutting like this and then cutting like this. That's fancy. We're going to do something different. We're going to do a flip-flop type of cutting like this. And it's all called a flip-flop shuffle. It's called other things, but we're going to do this right now. What we're going to do is this. We're going to do it very quickly. And there's one question I want to ask you. And the question is, if I can do this very quickly, <laughs> is there are two colors in the deck, red and black. And basically what we want to do is this. I want you, what is your favorite color in the deck? Red. Red? Well, I'll take all the black, and you take all the red. And we'll start off. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Don't all apply at once. Yay. All right. Yay. But the basic thing is, I, don't want you, I want you to realize, never trust your eyes. Because if we have all the blacks on the bottom, all the reds on top, as we have here, what we can do is do a quick shuffle, one shuffle, like this. Okay, and like that, very quickly. See, you have to be careful, because if a magician can go one, two, three. Could you do that, please? You do that quite well. <laughs> All right, you can see that the entire deck is back in the same order. Okay, all right. But we're gonna do something a little differently right now. We're gonna do go back to a little mentalism, and I want you, uh, well, let me shuffle the deck a little bit. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I want you to cut the deck. Very good. What I want you to do now, I'm gonna stand up. Okay, and I want you to say stop anytime. Stop anytime. Right? Or say stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Selected that card. I want you to take that card, the card that's sticking oh, out. This one. Okay. And I want you to look at it. Okay, show it to the camera. And I want you to put it someplace where I cannot see it. Okay? Be serious. All right, you got that? Oh, Jimmy, you're on the air. <laughs> well, don't uh, I don't think I have x-ray eyes tonight after what Frank has, has served me, and, uh, uh, okay? Okay. All right, what we're gonna do quickly is this, very, very fast. Now, you can ask me any question. What are you doing? Tonight? Is no, no, I don't go out. Is my okay. What I'm doing rarely is going through the deck very quickly. And since this is, it is a mental stunt with cards, go through very quickly, eliminating. Um, I know it's a red card. Give me a, two seconds. Uh, it's the two of hearts. Is that correct? Where did you hide the card? I'm dying to see. Where did you Where did you hide the card? You're supposed to know that. Oh, uh, that. Uh, what do you think I am? A mind reader? What is this? Yeah. <laughs> you get your paycheck. Unless you want. <laughs> okay. Well, then that's basically. Oh, we're gonna do. Uh, am I as well? Hey, do you have? Do you have? Let me ask you a question. Do you have uh, four quarters? Uh, I need a, a car fare home. <laughs> Anybody have four quarters? Three quarters? One more quarter. We need one more quarter. Very right, quickly. Just one more quarter. I have this one. It's marked X. I have this one. It's got a dot on it. One more quarter. That's one quarter. We're gonna do a quick, very, very. Here's the first quarter. All right. Basically, what we're going to do is something that's a favorite in magic. And basically, it's called a coin assembly. And it's a very quick routine. And we'll end. We have four cards. It doesn't have to be aces. Just four cards. Very quickly. Let's get the chair out. And hopefully, we can do this if we do it this way. Very slowly, very deliberately. We'll go one, two, three. Four. We're going to do this very quickly. The magic begins right now. Watch. One, two. One. The 
last one is really hard. You go, boom. Yay! And I guess we're going to end with that, and that's terrific. We have one more performer. I want to thank everyone. Very good. And uh, one more performer. Thank you everyone, very much. Everyone, big round of applause for Mr. Good. John Key. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Fade to black. Our next performer, Gaspar. Paris. Rome. London. Vegas. Europe. Italy, the crowned heads of Europe, are just some of the people he'd like to perform for. So, <laughs> let's hear a big round of applause for Gaspar the Magician. Yay! Good evening. Uh, let's get rid of this. Darba, Haji. I didn't know he was French. I had no idea. <laughs> Chevalier Coupe? Uh, no, but Malibu. Oh, indeed. This is not a trick. Okay. This is simply an experiment in ESP, which okay. is, of course, extrasensory perception. The knowledge of things known to us through no means come. We have a deck of cards, and it's very easy. I need one assistant. I will. I thought you would. We'll take a black card. We'll take a red card. That's all we need. That's it. That's it. I just want you to go through this deck. Sight unseen. If you think a card is black, put it on the black pile. If you think a card is red, put it on the red pile. Easy. First impression that comes to your mind. Okay? Make it nice and easy. Thank you. Good luck. Any way, any which I way, want, right? Mm -hmm. I don't have to. Mm -hmm. It's getting easy. Oh, just... right, hold it right here. It's hold too, it. too, too easy for you. And you're making a mess. <laughs> you have to keep it neat. Just, just right. tidy them up a bit. Tidy up my clients. Okay. That's good. Right. Got to let the card show through. Too. Okay. Uh, tell you what we're gonna do. Let's just pick up. Red card. I want to see how you've done so far. We'll take the red card, we'll put it here. We're going to switch the piles around. Let's take a black card. Put it there. Okay? Just to make it a little bit harder. It was getting too easy. For this you. is black and this is now, red. Now, this is black and this is red. Please try to be neat this time. Good. Now, naturally, we try to get as many right colors in each pile as we possibly can. Uh, of course, the higher the percentage of correct cards, the better your her ESP is. So don't feel bad if they don't come out okay. Uh, most people generally, if you just go across the board, will get 50% right, 50% wrong on the average. Okay? Let me just tidy these up for you. Take these, tidy them up. All right? Just put them in a little row here. Red, black. Red, black. Okay? Okay. Let's see how you did. Just turn them over pile by pile. Let's put them out here. Pretty good. Hey, hey, hey. Wait a second. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 I screwed up this one. Well, it's not a trick, I told you. Oh, well, these are all red. Those are all red. That's okay. okay. All right, as long as it's consistent. Okay, okay then these are going to black. Ah, you're tricky. Uh, how'd you get them all black? I know. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. ESP. Amazing. And these have to be black. Amazing. I, I think I can put these cards wrong. Really cool. <laughs> when I tie it up, I'm just going to place them. That's very good. Hey. Yeah, yeah, it's excellent. All right. right. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How did you do that? I don't know. This, this kid has okay. ESP. Extra sexy armpits. No. Uh, Egg for getting a pizza. Oh, Exciting surprise. Pepperoni. I don't know. If I had freedom of choice to put them wherever I wanted, That's right? Excellent. ESP was what? Exciting surprise. No, I like friends better. ESP friend. Eggplant spaghetti and pizza. Egg sausage parmesan. Pepperoni. Egg fried sausage parmesan. Yes, that was Excellent. Really good. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. It was out of this world. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, no, I'll do it. Inside joke.
It was extremely close. It's four aces. Out of the universe, for Harry. Four aces. Instead of dealing with the whole deck, we'll just deal with some aces. Yes, yeah, you're not playing with a whole deck, Gaspar. Yes, excuse me, yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm not playing with a full deck either. one to show. Yes, four okay, four aces. Definitely four aces from the front and from the back, too. It's always four aces. Okay. What we'll do is we'll take a black ace, put it right over there. That leaves one more black ace. Okay. Put that over there, too. So right. the black aces are here, the red aces are here. Right. The colors are very sensitive to change. Like so. Hey. I'll show you another way that colors are sensitive. If you take the red aces and the black aces and you put them back to back so that the black aces are on the outside, the red aces are on the inside, and you just shake them up a bit, right? What happens is the black aces go on the inside, the red aces on the outside. Robert, 
I'm afraid that trick is impossible. Because if you have six playing cards and you throw one, two, three of them away, well, then all you have left is one, two, three playing cards. I said, this. that's right, that's what you normally have. But because I'm a magician, I want to steal, I mean learn, the version where you wind up with one, two, three, four, five, six playing cards in all. Thank you and good day. Right now, our next act is going to be that famous bird trainer extraordinaire, Sandars the Magician. Never heard of him. I want to use these paws. Elaine, what I want you to do, Elaine. One, two, three, go! Okay, really, I shouldn't be here right now. Where should you be? See, my mother thinks I'm in Chicago stealing hubcaps, and she will be very <laughs> dismayed about it. Anyhow, we, we have the birds from the previous show, so we're going to teach Elaine how to be a bird trainer. So first of all, we're going to take out our little friend over here. This is Pinky, you see? And then we're going to make you into a little bird trainer, okay? Elaine, you, here's how we're going to do it, Elaine. Make your two fingers real stiff like this over here. Right over here, my right up there, that's fine. Now, Elaine, if you say up pinky, she'll hop right up on your finger, please. Up pinky. Tell her again. Okay. Tell her, please. Please. There we go. There we go. He's going to jump from the other side. Tell him up pinky again. Up pinky. Tell him again. Louder. Tell him, please. Please. There we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys, you got, how about some nice applause for the world's youngest bird trainer? Right over there, okay? Now, this time. We're gonna see how good her coordination is. I'll tell you what, you put your two hands just like this, okay? We're gonna take and put the mommy bird over here, Pinky over here, this one comes over here. We're gonna take and put over here, the baddie bird, Mr. Green, right straight back over there. And then last but not least, let me take it over right over here. Just to make it stay right there. Stop the tap, Nancy, stop the tap, Nancy, right over here, there we go. How about some nice applause for the mommy? Right straight back over here again. We'll take and put him right over here. And let's her. Okay, there we go. And Elaine, for coming up and being a very, very fine sport and everything, Elaine, we were going to get you a meat, but we couldn't afford oh, a meat, so we're still going to give you a little bunny rabbit. Yay! That's all for you. There we go. Hey, I want to see a great trick to torn and restored bunny. We're, we're getting screams of suppressed desires from uh, how about how about how about the multiplying rabbits that all we need is a girl. You're doing good. Zoom in on. What what lucky thing Aunt Judy liked you to ask about a carrot there, right. you know? Almost here. Yeah. I like that. Yes, sure, really. Um, how about um, <laughs> yeah. cutting the sword rabbit tree? Oh, that's a big stop, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So I told you that I needed a rabbit. Right. Well, you have a little, even a little, little bottle? A little milk bottle with the, you know, little, little kids that use for the, uh, yeah, uh, for the dolls. And we, we make them and right, right. hang it up high here. Put it up high in there. It reaches up and he'll drink it. Wait, wait, wait a second. Don't get excited here. Uh, not that big, but there, there, there are a lot of, 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 of uh, oh, 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 oh. it's, it's uh, like a little work. All right, oh, 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 oh. So you ready? Money. Are you ready? Bonnie, so you want to introduce me? Put these yes. Over here. Oh. Sures and mademoiselles, I now introduce for you our host for this evening, Mr. Frank Paris. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much. I just brought down a... A measly few little tricks. Oh, a measly few as he unlocks his vault. Oh, I'm going to sit over here in the Puerto Rican section, if I may. Hey. Is this the Puerto Rican section? You side? people over there in the cheap seats. Yeah. Okay, let me, let me do my first uh, trick here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I should tell you, if I forget the rest upstairs, give me a second, I'll be right back. The year is becoming a bird watcher. And... The United States government has found out about my my interesting way that I I I, uh, I wake up. Okay, Just get off. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry. Occasionally things happen it's like that. You know, little things crawl on my shoulder. Get off. Okay. Now uh, the government has found out that I I I can I can trap eagles, which are endangered species. Can species. <laughs> the, the, the eagles are the eagles are endangered endangered feces, feces. <laughs> and they they've come to me and asked me to to uh, trap uh, these these animals and so that they can bring them to the zoo. Okay, 
and uh, I said, okay. So I went out, okay, and because I have brain damage, instead of looking for eagles, I went out looking for half dollars, which have eagles on the back of it, okay? And I trapped them into my little, my little, my little trap here. You can, you can hear it. See what I'm saying? I just trapped them inside the, uh, in my little bird trap like this. You see what I'm saying? And I had this little cage, which I used to carry with me in my pocket, okay? And I used to, after I trapped the eagle, okay, I'd cover him up. You know what I'm saying? So he wouldn't get away. All right? And then I'd slowly reach underneath and grab. I'll put this over here. I grab the eagle and get him into the cage, just like that. You can see the eagle is now in the cage, and the eagle is actually. Wow. All right. Okay, miracle of a seminar. Let me just get the next trick ready, and we'll be ready to start. Okay, now. Many years ago, I met this princess, okay, and I kissed and she turned into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> That's how ugly I was. So, so, so now she, she, I was going to use her in the act, and I, and I, because I couldn't afford an assistant. And so I went back to the lily pond one year, and I said, would you like to work with me in my act? She said, yeah, and after this show, she, you know, 